going on, my fellow Dronaholic friends? My name is Glenn, and yes, I'm still addicted to drones. Got the uh, Mini 3 today sitting on my dash, um, running sound through my Go wireless. Um, I just wanted to take you guys on a quick tour of City Hall Park here in Red Deer. They've already got it ready for Christmas, and um, I've got 21 satellites. Let's send it. Let's send it. All right, I'm outside. You can see across the street what I'm talking about. I got wires right above me. I'll have to be careful. Sending it up. Switching her up into normal mode. Getting some height. Let's go have a look. How's that for beautiful? Looks pretty cool, right? Switching it into cinema mode and just gonna have a little tour. That's the city of Red Deer. That is City Hall right there, guys. Um, I think you might have seen that in a previous video. Um, I'm pretty sure I did my Air 3 and uh, Mini 3 comparison video here. So, um, yeah, let's just go for a quick tour around and have a look. They actually kind of went uh, above and beyond this year. You can see there's people cruising around in there, checking out the lights. I heard S Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are going to be here next weekend. <laughs> but yeah, they did quite a good job this year. And I thought when I was driving by that it looked pretty darn beautiful. And I wanted to get it on drone footage. So um, legally, I can fly my Mini 3 in the downtown core. Um, the Air 3, it's a little bit trickier. But um, what do you guys think? Is that not looking pretty sweet? Let's go for a little rip around. I'm gonna get a little more height so I'm not bugging people. Yeah, so I think it's like they did a splendid job this year. Let's have a little look at that mosaic there. Um, that's the old, oh, that's the library. Just a second, I gotta turn. The library is um, behind the drone and down. But yeah, there's kind of a cool little thing there. That's the library building there. Does that not look sweet? And you're seeing it all in 4K 30. K30. I can see my drone. I can see the strobe. Like it, it's, it's really just right across the street. But it's kind of, uh, boy, they really, it takes a long time to do something like that to a tree. <laughs> there is a lot of lights on those trees, man. I think Red, I think I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with the city of Red Deer this year. They did, they did all right. And there's actually snow on the ground. My last video you guys seen, there was no snow in the middle of friggin' November in Canada, which is unlike it's, it's unseasonable, so we usually have like a foot, at least a foot of ice on the lakes already. I'm an ice fishing guy and, oh, that's a statue right down there, guys. Let me show, let me show you that. I'll try to zoom in on it, yeah. That's a statue right there. I don't know what he's pointing at. I just, I would go lower, but I don't want to uh, bug some, bug anybody, so. But uh, I just thought that it'd be make for an interesting video for you guys to have a little look at City Hall Park in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. I'm one of those guys that I'm kind of corny, you guys. I, I really like Christmas, but I've missed a lot of Christmases back in my addiction and stuff like that. I 
so uh, I was not around with family and um, celebrating and I was always doing other negative stuff so um, I, I kind of love Christmas <laughs> and I love that I still have family that care about me and uh, I'm getting a little bit corny here but anyways Let's go have a look at the front of City Hall there and see how that looks, because I see some cool lights over there as well. I'll do a little sideways flight here. Wow, yeah, they really did. They did a great job this year. Let's do a little sideways cruise down City Hall here. This is one of the main streets in Red Deer called uh, Raw Street. Look at that tree, that's pretty good. Pretty friggin' nice. But that is Red Deer City Hall building right there. That wonderful structure. <laughs> yeah. And we'll just kind of head back towards the vehicle here now. Hi, my uh, some of the guys at the center I work at said, "Yeah, it looks they didn't really do anything. It doesn't really look that good." But they only seen it during the day, and I think that it looks friggin' phenomenal, especially, well, I mean, you can't really get the full effect during the day. You have to be seeing this at night, so. And I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, I don't remember it being this nice last year, and I was around. But it, it kind of looks like they went above and beyond. You know what I should have done was... I should have made this video walking through there and have the drone at like kind of just above my head. But there's still quite a few people cruising through and I just, I don't want to run into a Karen and have a bad experience. So far every time I've been out with my drone and people have approached me, it's all been very positive interactions. Just people that are curious and um, you know, they got lots of questions and they're just, they're just kind of fascinated by the whole drone thing and how so much technology can be rammed into such a tiny little drone like the mini 3 is it's 249 grams man like it weighs what a cell phone weighs and the amount of technology that they ram into that little drone is like unbelievable it's unbelievable uh, I didn't go for the mini 4 I do have the air 3 but um, I've been hearing really, really good stuff about the Mini 4, actually. I haven't, I have not seen a bad video on the Mini 4 yet at all, but I'm quite satisfied with the Mini 3, um, camera footage. I, I don't think it's any different. I could be wrong on that, guys. Don't quote me on that. I just, uh, I, I believe it's the exact same camera, but, uh, like, this is 4K30 right now. No ND filter, obviously. And I think that looks stun That's a stunning picture, man. You guys let me know in the comments what you think, but I believe that that is a stunning picture for nighttime with no filter, no nothing. This is just normal mode on the Mini 3 Pro. I'm gonna drop down just a bit. What am I at? I'm gonna drop down to 20. There we go. That's 22, 21, that's good. That's 60 feet, I shouldn't be bugging anyone. And then I'm just gonna bring it back, guys, and end this video, but um, not a really action-packed video or super information video, but I think just a beautiful, I mean, look at that. That's, that's gorgeous, man. And I mean, this is downtown Red Deer City Core where people are right out of their minds on crystal meth and fentanyl 
but you still got this <laughs> little island of beauty in the middle of the downtown cancerous core because it is there is a cancer in this in the world I call it drugs I mean I, I'm fortunate that I was saved but uh, yeah there's others out there that are you know like a record amount of people that are living homeless addicted they have no friggin where to go um, no family to go to and it's Christmas time so um, if you see somebody out there struggling and they're asking you for money for food you don't necessarily give them food or I mean money but I, I always if they ask for money for a burger I always say how about I buy you a burger <laughs> usually they'll say no they want the money and then I just I you know I'm not gonna contribute to their addiction but but I will buy them a sandwich because there was a time when I was that person and uh, yeah I don't ever I'll never go back I shouldn't say I'll never go back but um, yeah that kind of lifestyle stopped being fun for me a long time ago and I never worked harder in my life than I did at trying to keep a habit going but through the grace of God and through uh, some good treatment centers and a family that loves me to death I made it through that nightmare and uh, yeah just remember they're people too man they're just uh, addicts are people too they're just having a you know you don't know what's going on in their life could be something that you know who knows man but there's a reason that they're living the way they're living and I'm sure they're not I'm sure they are they're not where they want to be anyways so anyway say Merry Christmas to a homeless person if you get the chance buy him a sandwich if you get the chance and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe my friends and thank you very much for watching see you on the next one